Let's finish up this workflow by distributing our content as a GitHub release. We'll create a GitHub release, version it, and then add our zip file as an attachment. Normally, when we create a GitHub release, we'll just create one in a portal, give it a title, a tag, a description, and then attach any binaries that we want to include with the source code. Now, we can save it as a draft, indicate it's a pre-release, set any other settings we want to set, and then we're good to go. But instead, we want to do this as part of our release workflow. So we're going to go in and we are going to use one of the first party GitHub actions to create a GitHub release. Now, there are two that we're interested in. One is to create a release. And the other one is to upload a release asset. And we're going to want to implement both. So first, we're going to create a GitHub release. So to create a GitHub release, we need to actually go in use actions create release v1 and we're going to access the github api so to do that we need a github token fortunately for us there's a special secrets um variable that has our github token already implemented so we don't have to actually go in and set any environment variables or anything like that so we can actually take advantage of that information and use that by setting environment variable ourselves. and this is actually described in the documentation so no need to create this by ourselves so i'll go ahead and copy this and implement this in our workflow so we'll go in and type in name uh, create github release uses actions create release environment github token and then let's go back to the documentation and look at what else they say there's lots of things you can specify your tag name release name the body of release or if it's a draft or pre-release um for today we're just going to focus on the tag name release name here um they have a github variable uh, it's a github object you have things like your run number your reference id you can use those to come up with unique tag names or release names uh, we also have run numbers for our github actions runs you've probably seen these already run one run two run three one four run five for today's simple demo i'm going to take advantage of that so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to use our with keyword and i'm going to implement a tag name and a release name. So for my tag name, I'm going to just say um, GitHub dot run number. And my release name is going to be the same. GitHub dot run number. Now there's much more complex examples. If you want to um, see them, you can do string concatenation. Like if I wanted to type in release GitHub run number, you can do that too. All sorts of stuff, but I just want to show you very basic release. Um, that should be enough just to create a simple release in the portal. So we'll just create a, a basic release, commit this locally, make sure syntax looks good. All right, commit this locally, take our changes to our remote GitHub repository. And let's check. There we go. We're creating a basic release and we'll use a little bit of video magic to speed this part up. Okay, we did a phenomenal job of creating a GitHub release. Um, we see here that we created a GitHub release called release six with tag six. If we go in to our repository, we'll see that we have the latest release created a couple seconds ago called release six but we don't have anything other than the source code attached to it because we need to use a separate action. If we go back called upload release asset. Now this is where things get a little bit interesting because upload release asset needs to reference create release. We need to create a unique identifier for create release and then create a little blurb that reference step dot create release to get as output dot upload URL so that we can upload an asset to it. So this one is a little interesting. I'll walk you through how to do it. We need to do the same thing, grab our user statement, actions, upload, release asset, and our environment, GitHub token. So we'll grab that. That's almost exactly the same. So just grab that real quick. We'll go pop that down here and just make sure I put in a right name. So we're gonna upload, release, asset, uses and actions, upload, release asset at V1 environment github token we're going to put in a nice little with keyword 
And then the first WIF property that we need to implement is the upload URL. Now, this is where we talked about that it needs to go steps dot and then a unique identifier for the create release step to get its outputs upload URL. So going back here, we need to go up to our create GitHub release and give it a unique ID. So I'm going to call this create new release. That way, when I go down here and I say upload URL, I can say steps.create new release dot outputs dot upload URL. So I'm referencing steps that create new release. So I'm essentially referencing the previous step, getting its outputs, getting its upload URL. So we're taking one step and referencing another. So there's two, three other properties we need to reference. Asset path, we want to get our site.zip file we made earlier. Asset name, well, we're not going to always call it site zip. We probably want to use our version number. So site hyphen version do a little string concatenation here. GitHub run number dot zip. And then asset content type. Application zip. We'll save this. Make sure there's no typos. Implement GitHub asset release. Commit our changes. Sync our changes to our remote repository. We'll go check our GitHub Actions. It's building now, so what we'll do is we'll take advantage of a little bit more of video magic and we'll check back in once this build is complete. All right, now that our build is complete, we look at the release job, we see that upload release asset has upload site.zip. Since this is the seventh run, it's called site v7.zip. That was created with GitHub release number seven. If we go to our GitHub repository, we have release number seven, has site v7.zip. If you click on this, this will download our site assets for version seven of our application. So we've essentially created a workflow that automates building our assets and creating a GitHub release so that people can download the assets for our project automatically, um, completely using GitHub Actions.